So you want a quiet night in. With all the digital streaming services out there, we have never had more choice. You've got Disney+, Plus, Apple TV+, Plus, both of which just launched this month and have their own original content that you can't get anywhere else. So let's say you subscribe to them both because you want all the Disney movies, the Marvel superheroes, and that new Jennifer Aniston show. For both, it's gonna be about 15 bucks a month plus tax. But you've also subscribed to that old standby Netflix, that's $9.99, and you love that show on Amazon Prime, that's $7.99, and you can only watch Veronica Mars on Crave, that's $9.99, unless you want the HBO package, which is another $9.99, and let's not forget sports, there's DAZN, which lets you watch sports from all over the world, 20 bucks, then there's TSN, another 20 bucks roughly, and let's make sure we get all the hockey and subscribe to NHL Live at $29.99, so each month you're looking at about $123. Bucks. And that is close to the cost of one of the top tier cable packages from one of the major providers, which can put a big hit on the family finances. I think the key is, is having an entertainment budget. Rona Birnbaum's a financial planner. She cut the cable but subscribes to Netflix for her daughter and DAZN for her and her husband. So what I see sometimes is it's easy to start subscriptions. It's a little less easy or it's a little more difficult to cancel subscriptions that you're not using. So is there a future where all of these streaming services can be presented under one umbrella for one price? There's an app for anything or for everything. And so to think about an app that would be launched that says we're going to streamline all of these other apps that bring you television content uh, seems like it's something that's probably in the works. Ironically, it's really the 21st century version of what a cable bundle would have been. Of course, to watch any of the shows on any of these streaming services, you have to have high speed internet, which is another cost you have to factor in. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto.